in the decision, no, finally, Cadiz also prayed for another award with regard to Cadiz's prayer for moral and exemplary damages. The court finds the same without merit, meaning this part she lost. No? She was not awarded moral and exemplary damages. A finding of illegal dismissal by itself does not establish bad faith to entitle an employee to moral damages. So it is not automatic that when there is a finding of illegal dismissal, there is immediately bad faith, that there is immediately moral damages. It is not automatic. Absent clear and convincing evidence, meaning it should be proved by the employee, showing that Cadiz's dismissal from Brent's employee had been carried out in an arbitrary, capricious, and malicious manner, moral and exemplary damages cannot be awarded. Uh, from the, uh, here, no, uh, from the side of Cadiz, it would be difficult to win this part because remember, Brent won at the level of the arbiter, the commission, and the court of appeals. So meaning, hindi nag-iisa si Brent. No? There is a reasonable basis on their position uh, that there was a valid termination of Cadiz. It just so happens that it is unfortunate that the Supreme Court did not agree with them. So you cannot say that there was bad faith on the part of Brent, the employer. So the court nevertheless grants the award of attorney's fees. So she lost the moral and exemplary damages but she was awarded attorney's fees in the amount of 10% of the total monetary award, Cadiz having been forced to litigate in order to seek redress of her grievances. So this part, I think she is lucky, no? Surte ba? Gitagaan si 10% attorney's fees. Considering that for me, Brent was... Brent should not be punished with 10% attorney's fees for Cadiz, considering that they, was ju they were just doing their... Uh, best. No? They thought that they were correct. They did not really intend to deprive Cadiz of what's due to her. But they fought this case because they thought all along that they were correct. Unlike, for example, na kay utang. Kabadyo ka na kay utang. You have a debt. And despite demand, you never paid your debt. Uh, for me, that's bad faith. So that should be uh, you should be obliged to pay moral, exemplary, and attorney's fees moral and exemplary damages because you know that you have a debt, you have an obligation to pay but you fail to comply with your obligation which is very clear, not disputable. So in this case, it was, remember, Brent won before the arbiter, commission and the court of appeal. So it was not really clear and it was not even evident that Brent was wrong when the case started. It was only when it arrived before the Supreme Court that the Supreme Court said that Brent is wrong. So, no is a employer in pabayad of 10% attorney's fees. But this is how the case ended. You know? This is the case of Cadiz versus Brent. There is a separate opinion by Justice Harvey Leza. We'll end our vid video here. So, thank you for joining us. And have a great day.